A federal appeals court rules a former President Donald Trump is not immune from prosecution in the criminal case alleging he tried to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Trump is expected to appeal the decision to the Supreme Court. National correspondent Atra El Nashar explains the ruling and what could happen next. A major blow to former President Trump's defense in special counsel Jack Smith's election subversion case dealt unanimously by a federal appeals court. They write, we cannot accept former President Trump's claim that a president has unbounded authority to commit crimes that would neutralize the most fundamental check on executive power, the recognition and implementation of election results. I feel that as a president, you have to have immunity. Very simple. The court disagrees, writing, instead of inhibiting the president's lawful discretionary action, the prospect of federal criminal liability might serve as a structural benefit to deter possible abuses of power and criminal behavior. Trump Trump has until Monday to appeal this to the Supreme Court. Former U.S. Attorney John Fishwick. I expect they're going to say he doesn't have immunity and that they're going to do it on an expedited basis. Trump faces four felony charges in this case. Two for allegedly conspiring to defraud the United States through claims about the 2020 election Trump knew were false and attempting to oppress, threaten and intimidate Americans from voting and having their vote counted and two charges for allegedly obstructing and attempting to obstruct official proceedings to certify election results. Assuming the Supreme Court also says no, Trump does not have immunity because he was president, what else could his team use as a defense? The primary one appears to be that they're going to say, look, the former president was advised by lawyers. They gave him the green light to do many of the things that he, could, he did uh, connected to January 6th. They'll also say he had a First Amendment right to say certain things. I think a First Amendment argument is probably going to be uphill. Trump's political allies quick to echo a claim he's made many times before. I believe that they've been after uh, President Trump for partisan political purposes. I think that's obvious. The judge in this case, Tanya Chutkin, recently scrapped the trial's original March 4th start date to wait for the courts to rule on Trump's immunity claim. Now she's expected to assign a new date as soon as we learn how or if the Supreme Court weighs in. On Capitol Hill, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting. The union representing border agents and the acting Customs and Border Protection chief buck a GOP opposition and endorsed the Senate's bipartisan border bill. The union representing 18,000 border agents says the bill would cause a drop in illegal border crossings. Likewise, CBP head Troy Miller says it would provide the strongest tools officials have had in years. It faces an uncertain future as Republicans signal opposition.